You're still watching Ways on Plus TV Africa. Today is Take It in the Ear Day. Most likely, you should be taking something in your ear. What should you be figuratively in today? Ear? <laughs> so maybe you listen to music or a podcast or something or a conversation with someone. Just whisper something into somebody's ear. Well, it's not really um, like they've not really really said what the motif for the day is. I'd so like we to just know. we just found it on the internet and know. just thought to share with you guys. Take it so in maybe it's like ear. I'm a body or something. Oak. Just put the ear or it's or just something. Go and no, do take something. it from the ear. I, the I think it has to my do s say so, something or listen yeah, just to something. Listen to something. I think that's. I listened to means. a lot of music today, so mm. I took some things into my ears today. Okay. So I, really I listened a lot I, to my children today. <laughs> I, I listened to an audio book today. Oh, uh, that's nice. Yes. That's don't, nice. Don't, don't ask me the topic. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> we'll ask you. All right. Okay, so let's just move right to what's in the news. So, um, Nasa, we're starting with you first today. Yes, so, what yes. did you find for um, us in the news? Right. What I found in the news today is something that picks my interest, and the reason being it's you know public sector focused. So, uh, the Guardian reported that the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service um, made made a statement at a recently concluded conference where he referred to the digital economy as the new gold. And the reason for this is that, you know, the digital space is generating significant revenue that's worthy of attention. And as the apex administration administrators for, you know, tax, um, they need to pay attention to, to, to companies in this um, area. So likes of Jumia, Amazon, Uber, you know, they're associated with a lot of economic activity. Mm -hmm. And then why, why it also interested me was the fact that, you know, this kind of uh, public sector organization is actually also at the forefront of digitization, which more private sector organizations are familiar with. So it's a step in the right direction. I think more agencies in the public sector should follow suits. And um, mm -hmm. for instance, we're talking about the INEC, mm -hmm. you know, digitizing the electoral process. I think that would be like a major shift for us in, in the country. And mm -hmm. it would also, um, Ensure that more people are involved, you know, yes. so that's those are some of the benefits of digitization efficiency Making okay. things easier and just bringing your your customers saving in. time saving time cost absolutely. Effective. Cost effective. Yeah, you yes. know, so those benefits and I think that it's um, It's like I said a step in the while, right direction while, while, while we're still on that um, based on the um, digitalization in Nigeria There's also a story I dug out today with um, the Vanguard reported that the comp controller of the Nigeria immigration um, immigration service right. says that um, they are going to find a, a way uh, to actually um, have e-visas in Nigeria right, so before the end of 2019. That's very ambitious. Yes. I mean, this is the end of he 2019. Said, he said How it realistic it, is this? With <laughs> Nigeria, anything is possible. So is if he no. said it, I think it's possible. I What's like the it, purpose right? for these e-visas, please? I, and e -visas is it that is we also, never had e-visas before? I, I don't think so, but I think what he's trying to um, start basically is uh, to encourage um, foreigners to come to Nigeria to be the to the go zone where people can actually come in, visit without actually having problems getting the visa because getting visas to Nigeria so, is, can be a bit cumbersome. So, so sort of we want to Even make it easier for you to come into. <laughs> Yes, this is the country, well, but to, we're well, not we're not speaking to the real growth. issues. You know. really it will encourage um, growth. Yeah, but to do what? Income, you know, have revenue, you fixed generation. The issue? No, you should understand yes. income generation. What are you coming to do? I understand that you know mm -hmm. the market is huge. There's a lot of opportunities. I get it, but. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, somebody has to do something Well, somewhere. for me, uh, we're yeah. married to a foreigner in our, mm. in our family. And okay. I know that ever since, I mean, the company where he was working before, he mm -hmm. had to change jobs. And, I mean, we've just told him, don't bother coming to Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. Don't worry, we'll come, to, we'll come and see you in Europe. Just stay where you are. Because the truth is, it's actually very difficult getting mm -hmm. Nigerian visas. Mm -hmm. So what my sister experience? just did with her children, she just decided to just go, since she's... She's, she's Nigerian, so, they have, so she made Ni their Nigerian passport. So she, she's not bothered about oh, really? processing visas so for them. It's just, like, it's just their dad cannot come. come over. Because he's so not for family functions now, it's difficult for him to come to Nigeria. Because it's really, wow. it's really difficult. And I'm wondering, you, you, you make on one mouth, you're talking, you're saying something. On another, 
level. It doesn't make sense, you know, before you even talk about e-visas, what mm. is the security level? And while exactly. we are on that, that conversation... He also security, said that, you know, he, um, the, 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 Baba, um, what's it called, um, um, Mr. Mohamed Babandede, Babande mm. who is the Contro Com Controller General yeah. of um, Nigerian Stock, um, Nigerian Immigration. Immigration Services, please forgive me, says that it is going to be a balance between facilitation and transparency and protection of national security in Nigeria. It's still grammar. So it's still by digitizing the visa. My yes. Yes. Do. don't it's, worry. My visa will be able to track complete. it better. Wait, it's, 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 well. it's trackable. I like. I like. It. Don't worry. Hold on. <laughs> let, let's. My own story is not. I won't even say it with my mouth. Let me. If I. If I. I think we should just watch what 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 what, what I found in the news. For okay. You. Okay. We we'll watch. Let him watch it. <laughs> as well. <laughs> let's, let's take my story. Now they are looking for hate speech. They are not looking for hate acts. Which one is worse? Hate speech or hate acts? Now see somebody and cut his head, then you are free. Then say somebody you are stupid, then you will die. Can you imagine that? It's a stone age mentality. But I think they are free from it now. <laughs> There's nothing wrong in trying to make an attempt. You think we are all dummies? <laughs> what education do you have? Where did you get it from? That you bamboozle everybody. You are not doing well. You are not doing well. Yeah. They must tell you you are not doing well. Yes, yes. What's your problem? So that was um, right, Dr. Oh, Bishop David Oedipo talking. And wow. he was saying that if people are criticizing a government for not doing well, I mean, you shouldn't now try to want to, um, what's it called, clamp Bam people, people and, 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 into, you know, and bully people. I mean, yeah. and bully people yes. and start to bring up, because they, he's talking, because you know the, the, the social media bill has passed the second reading in the Senate. Yes. Wow. So what he was saying was that, I mean, and you know, because I have, I grew up, I lived in the, in the north all my life. I grew up in Kaduna. I watched people being slaughtered. Hmm. So, and he started his ministry from Kaduna State. Wow. Right. Do you understand? So yeah. he was saying that, and these are things we witness. People kill people and people walk away. And so there is a lot when it comes to hate acts in this country. People kill people and walk away. Into. You understand? That needs to be looked into. So it's beyond him just saying yeah, the old controller, whatever, mm -hmm. <laughs> saying that um, or security is is not word National of mouth. Security. The truth is that if a government, it is measurable. All of these things are measurable. If it is working, Absolutely. it it's is working. working. Yeah. If it is not working, it's, it's not, not working. working. Every government should be open to criticism. Transparency. You must be ready for people to tell you the truth. truth. You must be ready. You must be weak. You must be. You see, as a government, you must be open to. The good compliments and the not so good compliments. Which will that mean that it's a come. democratic. Yes, right? especially so when you call yourself a democracy. But exactly. are we really a democracy? Do you understand? From, from, from what happened to Shara a couple days ago, we are, can we really we are still say operating we are operating on that? So that if we right? technically yes, be we're a still democracy, we and need rather. to start accepting that people have the right to be able to say Freedom that speech, you are not doing this Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And do not come and now clamp people down and say they're not talking. You know, so the government must find the, they must find the balance. I think we'll leave it there, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. if we want to go on and on, mm -hmm. take a whole, this will take a two whole... Two sessions, three sessions? Not even... I think it will take <laughs> maybe a whole year. Yeah. You know, and we'll not, we'll not even exhaust the topic. Absolutely. But that's all we can take on what's in the news for today. Up next, we'll discuss personal brand and how it impacts our income mm -hmm. with our first guest. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.